on the last video. You can get 50 guys like him once you're famous. What? <laughs> what? And so it continues. Wow, just uh, throwing me right into it, huh? Alrighty. Are you gonna talk to me, Morgana? Cool, great. I got stuff to do. Hello, Trader Sakai. How are you? Uh, it's so hot. Summer is the season for thrills, which means that ghost related goods uh, will sell like hotcakes. So, in the spirit of the season, I want you to purchase some exorcism water. Bruh, I got three. It has to be fresh and divine. I'm counting on you. If you get your hands on some, I'll trade you for this model gun. I got just a thing. Oh, that's scary. Too scary. Huh? It's you. Wait, could that be the exorcism water? Are you ready to trade? Yes. Thank you. And please, take this model gun. <laughs> Thanks. I guess. Oh, how godly. So this is the exorcism water. With this, a precious life will be saved tonight. What does that mean? Sakai, you have something going on? Is, uh, is everything all right? You doing all right? You good? Okay. Thank you. I will count on you again next time. I, do, do, are, you, are you sure? Okay. Hey, you scared. Hey, buddy. Do you have my card? Beautifully executed. Yes. Here, this is for you. It was a resounding success. Yay! Can you make another one for me? Hmm. All we have to do now is wait. What a nerve-wracking time. By the way. Meanwhile, I am here to observe the public in an attempt to refresh my mind. Do you need something? Yes, I do. I Can see. I have you make another card for me? So you wish to take advantage of our deal? I understand. What are you going to ask Yusuke to do today? I am going to have him duplicate some Rec Arm. Yeah. You want him to duplicate a Summer Rec Arm card for you? Absolutely. Very well. Very well. Hand me the cards. Well then. I will spend the rest of the day working on it. Come back tomorrow or later to retrieve it. Yeah, well, I'm here right now, so let's hang out. Hmm. By the way, I came to see you, buddy. <laughs> huh. You must have a wealth of free time if that is your decision. You know, I would not have expected my slump to be so stubborn. I will have to take some extreme measures. More extreme than rowing out in a boat and trying to draw a brother and sister on a boat. Because I still remember that. Please, Art. I will need your help again. Could you join me? I feel I can become closer with Yusuke thanks to the Emperor Persona Tatanta. I feel like my bond with Yusuke will grow stronger soon, but... But what? So what's your call? Will you spend time with Yusuke? I mean, we've been hanging out with him this whole time, so... Let's go ahead and uh, rank up with Yusuke. Yeah. I'm in your debt. I owe you one. It seems the answer may have been right under my nose this whole time. You will see soon enough. Follow me. Lead the way. Yes. Oh? Why are we back at Matarame's? Hmm. This place has not changed in the slightest. 
Uh, feels a little nostalgic now that I think about it. Indeed it does. I haven't come back here since I moved away. <sighs> the truth is, despite my best efforts to convey the meaning of the heart, I am no closer to understanding it. Such a troublesome roadblock never presented itself to me while I was living here. As you know, I spend most of my young life in this very house. That is why we have come now. I wish to reevaluate myself within its decrepit walls. Okie dokie then. By coming to this place, I may be able to rekindle the passion for art I once held. The passion of an inquiring mind on the hunt for pure beauty. Before I learned of Madarame's foul nature. Hmm. It won't open. Well, yeah. Madarame's in jail, and as such, his properties would probably be on lockdown. No, I surely left it unlocked. Why would you leave it unlocked? How could Ever. this be? What? The door is jammed. Why is the door jammed? What? Hmm. I suppose it was quite an old door to begin with. It had begun to rust even while I was a pupil here. It seems now it is finally broken. Should we force it open? But wouldn't that be trespassing? Ah, screw it. Hmm? I doubt you will be able to force your way through here. You must have a steady hand if you wish to fix it. I think I'll be able to off fix the door with my current proficiency. Yeah, buddy. All right, then. Oh. Art, are you capable of fixing it? Buddy, I have the proficiency of a transcendent being. I got this. You never cease to amaze me. Let me add that thing. Nailed it. Let us be off. Let us head inside. I see. The police confiscated everything. Makes sense. You know, I lived here not long ago. It, it almost feels like a distant past at this point. Being here was brought back memories, though. Whenever I acted out of line, I was made to sit calmly in this corner. Ah, and over there was a bookshelf, filled to the brim with various tomes. They contained art compilation books for the most part, but there were a few manga tucked away as well. You read manga? Cool. At times, I would take a break from my art and hide to read them. This is also where we would gather to eat when the atelier still had a large pupil count. Sensei is particularly fond of salty food, so... <sighs> Sensei? What am I saying? Why do I still treat him as my mentor? How long will I allow him to control my life? Well, I mean, old habits die hard, I guess. You okay, buddy? Yes, my apologies. Truth of the matter is, I used to paint in this room, and I did it simply for the joy of painting. No matter what I took as my subject, my hands would move of their own accord to capture its pre its essence. But back then, I only saw the superficial beauty of the world. I could not see the grim, the grime beneath. After learning the truth behind Madarame's actions, though, everything changed. 
I strove to fight back against the newfound ugliness that I saw, to display my talent to those who mocked me. I needed to do whatever it took to validate my artistic ability. In that search for meaning, darkness took hold of me. How could this be? Ultimately, I began to emulate that which I had so deeply despised in Madarame. <sighs> you know, Boss told me something very interesting when I was staying with you that one night at LeBlanc. He said, He didn't believe Madarame took me in for my skill alone. I suppose now that I think about it, there would be no way to know whether or not I would have been talented. Art, why do you think Madarame decided to take me in? Hmm. You know, this may be a fatal flaw for me, but I do like to see, or at least attempt to see the good that some people do. Like, maybe he was sympathetic, maybe he wasn't. But if Madarame really, like... Because what Madarame did is he took the Sayuri. You know, Yusuke's mom's art. And there, there was no way he could have known that Yusuke himself would become a great artist. So... Maybe he somehow knew you had skill. Maybe he was sympathetic. I don't really know. Well, let's try looking at it in a positive light. Hmm. Hmm. So we return to matters of the heart yet again. It truly is a mysterious beast. Even after learning the ugliness of his true nature, a part of me still believes in my former mentor. I simply cannot come to terms with the stark dualities presented to me. The humble house and that loathsome palace. The kind teacher and the fiendishly deceptive artist. It seems even the workings of my own heart are inexplicable. What then of my search for pu pure beauty? Hello? Who's there? There's someone there. I'm coming in. This is a problem. Hmm? Could that be the police? Oh. Oh, it's the old gentleman from the art house. Hello. Ah, I was wondering who could have been in here. You're the man from the exhibition. Indeed. Thank you for our conversation back there. More importantly, though, why are you here? I couldn't help but notice the door was open on my way home from work. Are you, perhaps, still caught in your slump? Yes. How, how do you know about that? I know a great deal about you, Yusuke-kun. You've made a name for yourself by patterning your work after the beautifully detailed Sayuri. That painting at the exhibition was quite different from that. Have you begun trying out new styles? <sighs> if you'd like, I can advise you. Materials, themes, etc. You seem as though you could use a helping hand right now. I... Most of your painting was done while living in this residence. Correct. Your current lack of patron must be what is holding you back. Please, take my card. I've made a living investing in promising young artists like yourself, Yusuke. Oh. oh. Director of Japanese Art Support Foundation, Akio Kawanabe. But 
Why have you chosen me? You criticized me so harshly back at the exhibition. Because I feel you have talent. Now, my foundation can provide you an environment that will allow you to focus on developing your skills. If such a lifestyle inve interests you, we can talk further at a later date. As for today, I have business I must attend to, but I hope to hear from you soon. Huh. Yes. How about that? The Japanese Art Support Foundation. My opportunity may have finally arrived. It was all because you opened that door for me. Yeah. It seems good luck is simply a characteristic of yours. I'm in your debt. You have my thanks, leader. No problem, Yusuke. I feel like my bond with Yusuke is growing deeper. Ooh. Ooh. Harrison recovery. Chance to cure status ailments inflicted upon party members. Sweet. All right. Like that. Shall we return home? I must be going now. I'd like to think this... I'd like to think on this some more. Okay. See you. Farewell. See you, Yusuke. Hello. I apologize, Hart. I lost my composure today. The emotions I felt in that house still remain within me to this day. I do think it's a good thing that I was able to realize all this. By the way, that gentleman, Kawanabe, was it? What's your impression of him? Well, I don't know him too much. I don't know him enough to know if he's reliable, reliable or not but he does carry a certain dignity with him. I had no idea he was the director of art support, but he definitely had a certain presence to him. And he was even able to instantly pinpoint my weakness. He certainly is no ordinary individual. As someone with neither a home nor a patron, I couldn't ask for a better offer. On top of that, I may be able to find a way out of my slump once I can fully focus on drawing. In any case, this deserves serious thought. I may come to you for advice again. I'll be waiting, Yusuke. Good for Yusuke. Man, it's hot. Another scorcher. Can't we catch a break? Well, it's summer, boss, so it's gonna be hot. Who's texting me? Oren, Nobeko, and Oya. All right, what do you guys want? Hello, this is the manager of Oren, Nobeko. Apologies for the short notice, but would you mind coming into work for today? We ended up somewhat short staffed for today. I understand this is very last minute and your compensation will reflect that. I hope I can count on you. Mm, nah. That focuses on proficiency and I'm already maxed out. Thank you, but no thank you. What do you want, Oya? You have any info that I can turn into an article? I'm at crossroads right now. It can be anything, so come talk to me. Oya seems to be waiting for you at the bar. You want to go see her? Nah. Nah, don't feel like it. I am gonna go out, though. I wonder. Hello, Ketchy. How's it going, Light Yagami? Hi. Hey, fox -kun. Good evening. You have some time right now. There was a place I wanted to visit with you, but what do you think? It's a special place for me. I'm hoping you'll like it too. I feel I can become closer with a catchy thanks to the Justice Persona pr Principality. I feel like my bond with a catchy will grow stronger soon. 
What do you want to do? What's the plan? Are you going to go with the catchy? Mm, let me save first. I see. Ah, that's too bad. Some other time then. Now just uh, just give me a sec. I should write something. All right, let's talk. Hi. Hey, you have some time right now? I would like to go this to this place. Would you come with me? Sure. What do you want to do? Great. It's actually really close. Just follow me. I'll take you there. Mm Okie dokie. Ooh, Jazz. Hey. Jazz Jin. <laughs> All right. This is it. It's a rather nice place. It's not quite an apology for that little incident back at the cafe, but rest assured we're safe here. I'm a regular. Neat. It's nice to take some time off when you can. Don't you think? Hmm, yeah. What kind of place is this? Looks like a jazz club. It's just a jazz club. You get to hear some great performers there. I've actually been meaning to check out a jazz club. Sounds like a sounds like a cool place to hang out. Now, this is my kind of club. I want to go there. <laughs> I'm glad you're so taken with it. Is it safe to assume you've visited places like this before? No, but I want to. Very well. Let us go. In any case, let's head in. You can now quick travel to the Jazz Club in Kichi Joji. Sick. What will you do? Well then, why don't we get some drinks? I mean, hopefully non-alcoholic, because uh, we're students. We're underage. They probably got some water or some lemonade or something. <laughs> I'll have ice cold beer. <laughs> uh, I don't know. What do you recommend? Nothing in particular. But if you don't mind me choosing, then I'll put in a random order. You don't have any soft drinks you actively dislike, yes? Nah, I'll take just about anything. Hello. You look awesome. Thanks for waiting. Here's your order. We have a special performance today, so I hope you like it. Thanks. Who's that? Looks like it's starting. Let's sit back and enjoy the show. Well, I would, but uh, I'm kind of facing the wrong direction. I enjoyed listening to music with the catchy. I'm glad to hear you say that. Work and obligations take me quite take me to quite a few restaurants and cafes. This place is a little more special to me. I guess you could call it my go-to place. Do you have anywhere like that? Ah. I live there actually. <laughs> <laughs> huh? You live there? I'm not sure that counts as a go-to place if you don't actually have to go anywhere. I mean... Yeah, I guess. I mean, I have to go downstairs, but... You know... It's still the same building. Uh oh <laughs> Really? So you came to Tokyo on your own, and now you live in a cafe loft? Impressive. It's like something out of a story. 
Yeah. Something out of Anyway, though I have to say I'm envious. You must be quite well stocked on coffee and curry. I live alone myself, but I rarely have the time to cook my own meals. That reminds me, do you cook? I mean... Oh... <laughs> I... I guess I cook when I need to. Very impressive. Wow, that's impressive. I don't have much experience myself. Even my efforts in cooking class have been underwhelming. In particular, an attempt to fillet a fish went poorly. Ah, gotcha. I usually come here when I need some time to really think on my own. So, chatting with you here it really is quite refreshing. Oh, I'm glad. I, it is pretty cool. Speaking of which... You know, you're the first person I've ever brought here. It's not like I was keeping it from anyone, but... I suppose it goes to show we do have some strange connection. Sure, if you want to call it that. I feel like my bond with Akechi is growing deeper. Cool. Ooh. Sleuthing mastery. Chance to reveal all of one enemy's affinities at the start of battle. Yeah. All let's right. go. That's awesome. Ah, it's gotten late. But we should probably get going. Goodbye. Well, see you later. Yeah, see ya, Ketchy. Hey, it's me. Are you good to talk right now? Well, I'm about to head inside, but yeah, I can sit and chat for like five minutes. Wasn't the music today wonderful? Live bands always have this certain power to their music. Certainly the point of jazz is all those jam sessions. A sea of improvisation, both complex and organic. As each player incorporates their own flavors, a natural med melody is born from the chaos. There's something about that strange, erratic synchronicity. It's a euphoria like when I managed to solve a case. I mean, I guess I kind of get it. I actually was part of a school jazz band at one point. I was a drummer. It's it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't. Well, I mean, I guess it was kind of impressive. But yeah, I get what you're talking about. Well, I'm glad I brought you along then. I thought I'd have more luck if I brought someone who I know can keep up with me intellectually. Jazz is a deep and complex style. I'd love for us to sit down and really talk about it sometime. Sounds good. Ah, uh, I should let you go. Somehow, I always end up talking more than usual when it's with you. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Expect another invitation soon. For now, please excuse me. Okay. Bye, Ketchy.